everyone welcome to my channel tech classes so far we have seen how we can select different rows and columns from the data set and how we can add new rows and columns in the data set but what if there are some unnecessary rows or columns in the data set that we have to delete then we have to learn about the how we can delete some particular rows and columns that are unnecessary to our analysis we can remove that using the drop function drop function in pandas allows us to drop the columns and the rows from the data set there is also one keyword that is del keyword if you have learned when we have the like deleting list deleting entire list or deleting variable we have also seen the del keyword also so i will discuss that as well in this video so this is the data set that we have used in the previous lecture and it contains the headline and the headline of the different category their author name who have written the headlines and the description and when they have written so this is a short data set of 148 rows and six columns now suppose there is a column called date or short description that is unnecessary to our analysis we have to remove it then what we can do is first using the del keyword we can delete the column so del df and then the column name short description now when we are selecting the columns and the rows from the data set you have seen if we write this only then it will select the short description column only from the data set so first it will select the short description column from the data set and then it will delete using the del keyword if i run this then you can see now the short description column is removed so that is for the del keyword let's see how we can use the drop function of the pandas to delete the rows and the columns so drop function is something that is called by the data frame so df dot drop and then if you want to delete the columns i will write here delete column then df dot drop and then whatever the column name you have to drop you can pass it here suppose i want to drop the link link is the column name so you can directly pass the link here and then axis there is a parameter axis that you have to set when you are deleting the columns that is one so if you set axis equals to one it will delete the column now you can see the link column is deleted from the data frame but you have not used the in place equals to true so it will not make any changes in the original data frame and you can see here we have the link present in our data set so you have to use in place equals to true now if you run this then it has made the changes it has deleted the link column from the original data frame that is for how you can delete the columns so remember always when you are deleting the columns from the data set first this parameter and the most important is the axis one if you set axis equals to one then only it can delete the columns you can also delete multiple columns at a time you can pass the multiple columns in the list the name of the multiple columns suppose i'm just again reading this file so i have to now delete the short description and link so this single line statement will delete both the columns from the data set if you see here now we have again imported the original data so it has the link and the short description column here and now after running this statement the short description and the link column is deleted by the single statement now what if we want to delete any row so let's suppose we have the index first we will set index to the category to category and then in place equals to true in place equals to true so what the statement will do it will set the index of the column as category 
Now you can see new index is of the category. Now in our whole data set, we don't need the prime headlines. So what we can do is we can drop all the rows that contains the crime headline as the index. So df dot drop and then crime. Now you have to just pass here in place equals to true because in the drop function axis equals to zero is the default value and that is for the rows. If you set axis equals to one then it will delete from the columns. If you set axis equals to zero then it will delete from the rows. So zero is for rows and one is for columns. And now you can see we don't have the crime data available in the data set and we have now only 144 rows. There are only four rows that have the crime headline. You can also do this same with another category. Suppose entertainment. If I run this, okay, I have misspelled the entertainment. And now, if you see, we only have 103 rows, around 40 rows is from the category entertainment. So, that is removed from our data set. That is how you can clean your data set also if you do not want any kind of rows. And you can drop the rows using this type of command and you can set access equals to zero if you are deleting any row. So that is all for deleting rows and columns from the data set. And also if you just write here, for example, if I just copy this and paste it here and change this to one. Now it will return me an error, key error. And key error is something that it is entertainment is not found in access. Not found in access means entertainment name no any column in the data set. So there is no column that is named as the entertainment. Because if we set access equals to one, then the interpreter will search entertainment in the column names and not in the index. So you have to set zero before deleting any rows and columns. So just keep this in mind and I hope everyone understand how we can delete the rows and columns from the data set. So that's all for this video. I hope you find this video helpful and if you do then please do like and subscribe to my channel for more such kind of videos. Thank you.